Hello everyone, this is Crystal Puttoff, and I'm about to start on a brand new egg. I am involved in the egg exchange under Incredible Eggs uh, Psanki and Wax Batik Facebook page, and it has an autumn theme. And I just got this book. I can't read what it says. All I know is that it's the Taras Horodesky book. I've probably mispronounced his name, but I'm going to use uh, some of the stuff I've seen in here as my inspiration for what I'm going to do for my autumn themed egg. So I thought I would just show you uh, some of these pictures in here. It's a really cool book. Uh, I'd seen it on uh, several of the Facebook groups people were talking about. It. I thought, I gotta have it, gotta have it. Well, it took me a while to get it because it'd been out of print. I got this book through Ukrainian accessories. They had some. I don't know if they have them now or not. But when I saw they had them, I instantly went out and ordered it. They're a Canadian-based company. Um, the book arrived uh, very quickly. And I also ordered some other things, too. Since I was ordering it, I wanted to take advantage of the shipping costs. So this is all work by Taras. And um, detailed Wow, very, very detailed eggs in here. Highly detailed. Um, I'm going to guess they're goose eggs, but maybe they're chicken eggs. I honestly am not sure. Gorgeous work. One of the things that strikes me about his work, um, the detail, but also that he really uses a limited color pattern. Now, I believe, and I if I'm wrong about this, I'm sorry, but I believe Taras passed away a few years ago. I, I think that's true, but I'm not 100% true. So if he's still alive, I apologize. But this book, it, like I said, the color choices, like this one, all this detail, and it really looks like all he used was the white of the eggshell, some yellow, um, some... I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see it from a distance. Some red, obviously, a little bit of green, and black. And it, it's just, I think the limited palette really makes the pattern show up. The other color combination he does a lot are these, this green background and this dark red background. Again, it's, it's very inspiring to me to see this limited color palette and such beautiful intricate designs so what I did was I kind of went through the book and I wrote down different pages that I saw something that I thought oh I like that element and like that element and I have put together a goose egg with um, very very lightly drawn lines on it so I am going to start doing this I use the lathe because as you can see, a lot of the designs have these horizontal lines. And drawing straight horizontal lines is always a challenge for me. So I use the lathe, my craft lathe, to do that. And maybe in another video, I'll demonstrate how I use that. Um, but so this one, you know, I, you'd have to look at it. Yeah, there, you can kind of see some of the lines that I've drawn on there. Picking different elements. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to go with the, the green color palette or the red color palette, but there's some elements on here that evoke autumn, and I want my color palette to go along with that as well. So I'm going to get started on this, start waxing the white parts, and I'll come back and show you what I have done and what I'm intending to do. So uh, stay tuned. So I am making some good progress on uh, this egg. Uh, this is the mushroom. I forgot to show you what it looked like before I dyed it. But this color is mush mushroom. This is a Pisanki USA dye. And you can clearly see what I have waxed with the white. I thought I was going to wax more white than I did, but... I'm, I, I, I'm liking it so far. So we'll work on the mushroom. I think 
The next color I'm going to go with is brick, I think. And then um, I may wash it back and do some shades of green. Haven't decided that. This is a little different for me because usually I have a, a bit more planned out than that. I did dip this egg in cleaning vinegar for 10 seconds before I put it in the mushroom. I think that helped it to get this very nice color here. Um, however, it did kind of eliminate the lines I'd drawn. But I do remember what I drew, uh, and um, in here I may change, might change this part to get another maybe more fallish element in there. I'm not sure yet. I might do what I was going to do too. Anyway, I'm really liking it. So I'm going to wax the mushroom, dye it in brick, which is a Ukrainian gift shop color, and then I'll assess where I'm at. Well, moving right along, I have waxed all of the parts when the egg was the mushroom color, so that's what this darker color is you're seeing here. What I did next was, because honestly, the, the that color, I loved it. It was a little darker than what I was originally going for, but it, it worked. But what I'm going to, I rinsed it, so I just... Um, Plugged the egg, held it under some lukewarm water, tepid water, and just kind of let it run over it. I did not scrub it or or anything like that. And it's this nicer, or I shouldn't say nice, but this nice uh, little lighter golden color. So I am going to wax some areas with this. And then I'm going to really sit down and think about what do I want in all these elements and colors because I'm reaching the point where I have to make that decision before I can really go forward. But since I've washed this, I'm going to let it sit for a couple hours before I start waxing anything and uh, definitely before I start dyeing it. But it's probably gonna take me that long to figure out what colors I wanna use anyway. So we'll be back with colors on the egg and moving forward. I have to say, I am having so much fun with these uh, Teresa Rodesky inspired designs. So this, uh, this is where I'm at now. This was the color after I washed back the mushroom. I got this lighter color. I have painted in some areas with green. I did that using my concentrated dyes. And so I'm going to wax these areas and then I'm going to plug it and dye it in an orange. I'm going to start with just the orange from the Ukrainian gift shop because there's um, little spaces where the, the green dye went outside the areas I wanted. We'll see what that color looks like. If it, I want kind of a bright orange but not a deep orange because I feel like a deep orange is going to compete with the mushroom, so I want kind of a bright orange. So I'm going to start with just the regular orange, and then I will modify it as I need to. I have pumpkin, and I also have, uh, that is a Ukrainian gift shop dye, and then I also have um, carrot, and I, I have one other color. I don't remember what that is, but I'll, I'll work that out. Uh, it's I'm really liking this so um, um, we'll see what happens we'll see what color orange I come up with look at this beautiful orange this is the orange I was hoping for and I got it this was the Ukrainian gift shop orange the one without the vinegar this was not a new orange it has been used uh, and it it actually had like a, you know, kind of had a, some sediment in the bottom. I just stirred it up. I got this beautiful color. It washed away the green that was outside the areas I waxed. And I ended up with this beautiful orange color that I have waxed the areas I want to stay this color. I am now going to put this in the Ukrainian gift 
shop scarlet and um, see what happens I don't want a deep red I, I want uh, maybe even an orangey red that's kind of why I'm going to start with the scarlet and see what happens and then I'll take it from there I am just loving this design all right let's see what happens look at this beautiful red so this was the scarlet over the top of the orange it's it's pretty close to the color I was hoping to get it it's not a deep red color so if you're using the Ukrainian gift shop red it's a little deeper red not a dark red um, but this is the scarlet which I want it has a little bit more of an orange tone which was what I wanted not a lot but a little bit more so I have waxed all of those areas. I did not wax a lot because this is uh, my opinion with red less is more. So these are red. I want that to stand out as the cross. So that's why I only put a, that the red there. And then uh, a couple of these leaves are red. I do have red here here I should say red scarlet scarlet here and here and then there and and there red really attracts the eye so if you have too much red on an egg I feel like my eye doesn't know where to look unless the egg is all red with just maybe white or yellow lines that's different but my opinion too much red can confuse your eye. Although I will say, in this book, there are some that are, you know, a lot of red. And it it doesn't really confuse, but it's more the red here tends to be the background color. And I think that's what makes the difference. Like here, the red is the background color. So, so that's not as distracting as like if in here a whole bunch of these elements have been read that, that's my opinion and of course you can always break the rules with this but anyway that was why I didn't put a whole lot of the, the scarlet color on this egg at the end so I'm now going to dye it in the brick I'll show you what that looks like uh, wax those areas and then I'll be ready for my final color and we'll talk about that after I dye it brick. So here's the egg right now. This was the brick, the Ukrainian gift shop brick, over the top of the scarlet. I have it plugged, and now I'm going to try it in the dark red. We'll see what color I get. I might have to use... A different um, we'll see what it looks like no I'm not gonna put any expectations on it just want it to be darker and we'll see what happens I'm gonna leave it in here for a minute check it and then I'll check it again after the second minute and then at the third minute I will take it out I don't like to dye my eggs longer than three minutes at a time I will take it out after three minutes if I think it needs to be in there longer then I'll let it dry you know for at least a half an hour and then I'll I'll repeat with the three minutes again I'll do that up to three times and then I feel like what my experience is that's is if, if you've done three three minute dips it's probably as long as, or as deep a color as you're going to get. Okay, so that was after one minute. We'll try it for, uh, looks like this one might take two minutes. So I just want to make sure that I have a darker color than the brick. And hopefully what I'm going for is some deep, rich color for the background 
So rather than just me sit here and try and fill this with things to talk about, I'm going to pause and then I'll come back after the end of the next minute. Okay, it has been three minutes that this has been in the die. So I'm going to take it out, blot it off, and move this out of the way so I don't accidentally dump red, dark red dye all over my desk. Get the plug out. Did you hear that little sound? That was kind of my indication that I had it good and sealed. Okay. All right, I think that is definitely deeper than the brick that was on there. Although there aren't any areas where the brick is touching this, so it would be okay. What I'm gonna do is let this sit for a couple of minutes. Let's see if I need to put it, you know, back in the dye again, or sometimes as they sit, the colors become darker. So we'll let that do that. And then when it's the final color that I want, I'll come back and take the wax off. You're gonna be excited when you see this. All right, this was two three minute dips in the dark red and it was over the brick. I love this color. Um, this is supposed to be an autumn theme design and that was kind of the colors, the rich warm colors that we associate with autumn. That's what I was going for. This is an exchange egg and that I'm making for uh, an exchange that I'm in through Incredible Eggs Pisanki and Wax Batik. It's a Facebook group. And so we're ready to take the wax off. Okay, I'm going to use my heat gun. So as I always warn with the heat gun, it's a little loud. If you want to turn down your volume, go right ahead. And it's not plugged. All right, here we go. what it looks like so far oh yes okay really can you see what I meant here by with the red less is more I if I had put more red on it it really would have distracted from this cross and even though I use the dark red for the background it's still um, you know it's still it still works because it, it's not like a deep brilliant red it's more the this deep dark reddish brown color Part of that is because I did it over the brick color. Okay, let's work on the top. Well, the top turned out really nice, too. I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm going to keep taking the wax off and then I'll varnish it and show you some pictures of the completed pisanka.